Alrighty guys, here we go again. Weapon number 79 already. What is it going to be today? That's the question. Let's just spin the magic wheel and we shall find out. Today we almost got the Red Duvia, but instead <laughs> we got Short Sword. This must be an amazing sword, right? Sword. Sword is a straight sword. Scales, primarily with strength and dex. Weapon skill is geek. Best weapon skill in the game. Oh, it's a starting equipment for the Astro Lecture class. Can be also purchased from the Nomadic Merchant in Northland Grave. Oh, right, it's the Bridge Merchant. Maybe get Magic as of far. Yeah, possibly. I guess. Let's think of the way. Let's fire up Elden Ring next. So, if you are a new viewer, I'm doing this insane challenge where I'm trying to beat the game with every single weapon there is. The idea is that I can use only one weapon per run, but I'm not allowing myself to use any kind of mods or cheats, so I have to acquire each weapon in its natural in-game location. If I need to kill something in order to obtain the weapon, then I can use a different weapon for that purpose. But if the weapon is only obtainable by defeating a major boss, then I'm doing the run in a new game plus. Before all the new game plus runs, I sell all my items except the weapon and the armor of my choice to make it as close as possible for a standard new game run. I also randomize the weapon selection every time using my trusty magic wheel. If you like the idea and want to support the challenge, the best way is to give the video a thumbs up, drop your thoughts in the comments down below and subscribe to the channel. But now, let's get back to the video. We could power stance it as well if we want to, yeah. Oh, Astrologer we go. And here we go. We can immediately just get rid of these things and just equip our little sword. What are we using today with the sword sword? Cake is always an option. Let's look at this. Yeah, pretty OP, huh? What about Thalismans? Let's go blue dancer charm. <laughs> Honestly, going naked always boosts my confidence in the game, obviously. Get up, can it? No, 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 no! Okay, this is fucking amazing! Panic! Oh, the fuck was that? I'm calling bullshit. Well, I guess that less, yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe we could do the pole now. Or the Astro Farm. I think we want Orion Grander, Fling Miss, Clint Bebel, at least for the options. And what else was suggested? Clint Plate Phalanx, maybe? I don't really need anything from you. Actually, <laughs> yes, I do. The reason why I came here was to get this. Okay. Two sword swords. Probably is better than one. Kind of like the straight sword power stance moveset. It's not this. This is the most awful thing in the world. I just have to try to avoid doing running. Thanks. That's always this. <laughs> My favorite way to play the game. Glinstone Bubble. Victorious. Alright then. Shall I go for Glinstone Bubble. Next question is where do you get Glinstone Bubble? Roger sauce it. Okay, well, that's, that's great news then. What up? I mean, what up, Topes? I don't know, Soaps. What's wrong with me? Maybe after 100 weapons, I'll change it to What up, Kenneth, and shut up, Soaps. I don't think I've used Glinstone Bubble before. Alright, Leslie Glinstone Sword. Forget about that one. Vigor. We are still very low on Vigor. We started with 9. Let's go get the Bell Bearing, yeah. This is always such an unnecessary pickup, but we'll always end up doing it. One Smith in trees. Definitely not worth the while. Crystallion. We're gonna take a while to break the stance, but. What is he doing? What am I, I doing is another question. I don't know which is better this or. Actually, surprisingly quickly. There we go. You know what? I'm just gonna do an ice cup cheese. I need so much money. There you go. Plus seven and plus eight. I guess we want magic tier. We don't really need it yet, though. We can just put whatever here. 
in the beginning. Pumping that vigor first. Honestly, I'm just gonna use Radagons also here in the beginning. We're gonna go kill March and also Godric. And then we go Magic Infusion. Oh, how oh, I love that. Yeah, nothing crazy. <laughs> Gotta made damage. Oh shit. That's weak. is brutal, brutal. No, you're not dropping me off. Thank you very much. I'm gonna kick you. Okay. Will you let me do that? Thank you. <laughs> kick to BOP. That'd be very cool. Um, yeah, claw talisman. Okay, you, you wanna kick off? You wanna kick off? Oh, we can have a kick off. Yeah, like this. And there we go. I... Good rig. Ah, oh, always the hitless killer. Let's move. Annoying. Really annoying. It has kind of good voice damage, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no. Go greet our friend Roger. 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 So we want to place them on Pebble. I guess we could like get spinning weapon to to the other one, so that we don't need to get the gold wet blade. The clean stun bubble here and. Spinning weapon here and in scaling. Okay, let's go. Well, I had just enough money. That's cool. Now, both are plus 12. Let's go get Godric's Great Rune and then Redoyo. Also, watch this. Easy. Mystery Light and. Just run down next I ah, actually no. No no no. We're gonna go get magic tier. And actually I think we're getting magic scorpion charm as well already because why not? It was too close to him. Could also go for like Wing Sun Insignia. Or even Miss Militant Prestigious as well. I don't know, man. 
A shout out to Silvis guest line. Honestly, the best and the basic guest line in the game. Loretta. I've been doing setup for like 20 minutes now. <laughs> Not even close to ending actually. Alright, clean stop cool. Decent damage actually. It's like Loretta has quite a lot of magic resistance actually. Easy. I soured it. I guess we still get the vigor. Shall... What about Rochia? What is he doing now? He's not dying yet. Actually, once I once once she starts talking about that, he might be dying. Oh, he's actually dying. They don't need things like play. This uh, you just need to talk to him, right? About to get his drip, his ugly ass drip. Now he should be dead. Yep. My least favorite armor set in the whole game, but I guess it works with this sword and with this with this build. Just take the potion, thank you. Am I light loaded? I am. Light load is cool. Let's copy and charm, cool. They could that already and now, so all that. We can finally go kill Radunil. Let's get magic tier there. Noise. Not a bad first phase, but cute actually. Hi. Nice and easy hitless Radonial. Love to see it. I like Radon with with fast weapons like this. It's so much better than fighting in with Unga Bunga weapons, honestly. Or at least I prefer it. For the vigor and I guess in we go next. We are lacking some endrons too. We have got X great rune, so ten is just fine. Oh. Do we spare Alex? I guess we do. Wing Todd Insignia then I guess. Girl, this is gonna be fine. Actually, clean some bevel maybe. Works, yeah, never mind. Easy, easy. This dump bubble is pretty good. And just do this next. Oh god. I was trying to be cool there, but you ruined it. Like you always do. Sure, not really time here for the follow-up. Okay, bro. <laughs> also, I think I, can, I could put that talisman here. It's your sword. Oh god. There we go. Gotta be careful here that I don't do those running attacks. They are so stupidly shit. With straight sword. Power stance. Why did it not... Did I not have stamina? Let's not die here.
Okay. Minor mistakes there. Almost cost me my life. Moint. Probably should get some entrance to it, if I'm being honest. What the f well, That can happen too. Finding new ways to die. I got Godric straight in, but I forgot to activate it. I don't know if I would have even noticed that without dying, actually. I was thinking of popping another rune arc. I haven't popped a single rune arc yet because I haven't even activated the rune. There. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding with me that this happens every time now. I even jumped again. I still that didn't dodge it. Go free, go free. What you gonna do? Nice fellow. Cool. Well, hitless gold for here as well. I'm kind of liking the build. Making sword sword somewhat enjoyable. Ah, we haven't killed Gilliga. How did I forget that? That will be the next thing, obviously. What an anchor. Believe me or not, but it's actually close. I'm gonna get some endurance. Probably a good idea. Now, Gilliga. Did too much damage to him. Yes, sorry, Gilliga. You weren't even able to throw your stuff. Patches next. Alright. Morch. Exactly what I was looking for then. Ah. Got greedy. No hit less for me. Very close, actually. Okay, you know what? I'm enjoying this sword. <laughs> A little bit too much. Maybe it's just a build. Surprisingly a lot of fun. Nice to use the Glinstein bubble from time to time. Does good damage. And it's a good, good uh, as of warm. You can use it to close up distance and actually stack some poise damage too. And range damage. And I love Povestar's jump attack, obviously. Maybe it's just the Povestar jump attack build that I haven't used in a while. But I love uh, straight sword Povestar's movesets. I'm enjoying the build. I'm enjoying the build. Let's actually not use money just yet. Go on to mountain tops. Need to upgrade the weapon soon, so... Saving some money. It's about time for word of the day again. Actually, I have an idea. I'm gonna teach you the translation to Kusi Pala. There are nine different translations to Kusi Pala. Uh, all of these translated to Finnish is Kusi Pala. So yeah, there you go. That's finished for you guys. Shout out to... Was it Misko? Who suggested Kusi Pala yesterday on stream. There we go, plus 18, plus 19, and level up some int. Surprisingly a lot of int, even. Okay. Fully prepared for all your joints. Let's see the damage here. Not too shabby. Please don't. At least on Bebel, actually. Feels quite good damage. I'm liking it. We have a lot of buffs for that, I guess, but we don't even have Warrior Yasha. Bro. You are in a very awkward spot.
Not bad. I almost killed him before the Vulcan attack. Good damage for well. And a hitless fire giant uh, as well. Moist. Being quite a few hitless fights today as well. I don't know, I'm just enjoying this build. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. It's not like spectacular damage or anything. Uh, it's just it's just cute. I just like it. It fits my playstyle. I think that, that's what it is. More int. And Faroom. Now God's can do. Don't run. Nice. How are you not face transitioning? What the hell? What the hell are you doing? Please. What took you so fucking long? That's my greatest Koskin Joe fight, but it's fine. It's a lot of fun to mix up the fight with some jump attacks and then Break the poise sometimes with clean stump apple. <laughs> I'm a big fan. <laughs> Not sure if you have noticed. Well, I'm a big fan. Also, I just used all my money. Shit. Forgot to save. What the weapon upgrade. Yep. Probably need some runes, so let's kill this guy as well. Surely 100k is enough to fight the bunny of these as well, but I don't have the money. We'll get the other Erchiavata too. Nice. There we go. Plus 25. What of these Zord swords? One more int. And now finally, Maliket. Now we have B skating on int as well. Pretty good. Mally, Mally, Mally. Close to that heatless piece, Clergyman. I guess I've done it before, but oh, getting close to. Actually, learning how to do it. Shit. I think that was headshot. Headshot finisher. Surprisingly good damage, actually. Like, I would have not thought that a random sword like this would be this good. I'm still very unsure where I'll rate this weapon, but we, we will see. We will see. I'd gitch.
Bye, nerd. Hitless Gideon as well. Then Hitless Gideon, Hitless Fire Giant, Hitless Goldfree, and Hitless Radon. Could have easily been two more Hitless bosses even. I think we got hit only once against Morgoth. Could have avoided all hits against Godskin Duo. I think I got hit there, yeah. Also against Godric, I got hit only once. Least hits against bosses, maybe. Could it be? It's up there for sure. Okay, Godfrey. Oh, just not enough. Shit! Fuck. Damn it. <laughs> ah, and the voice break there, of course. Nice. Honestly, look at the damage. I can't deny that for a mere sword sword, it isn't good. Easy got free. Very annoying hit. Could have been hitless as well. It's been a good day for me. One more, then I think we're gonna go fight Moog as well. a bit of a tower. <laughs> Looks like I'm trying to get myself killed here. Huh? I have not died to this attack since run number four. I swear. I got cocky. Okay, watch me do it hitless now. Otherwise, it would have been hitless. <laughs> that one hit doesn't count. And the greed, the greed, the arrogance, and the finisher. There we go. Sword, sword, done. Sub three hours. How long did the rusted anchor take? I must check actually. Well, that was actually two hours and thirty minutes. <laughs> Honestly, I'm tempted to put it one above <laughs> rusted anchor. Where does it fit? Honestly, one of the hardest weapons to raid because it was good, but I just can't raid a damn short sword. 
that highly. Many other unique weapons. Honestly, I enjoyed this run more than many other B tier weapon runs now that I'm looking at the video. Lazuli Glintstone Sword also is this low. And the power stands that as well, didn't I? Why was this so much better than the Lazuli Glintstone Sword? At least I felt like so much better. We had basically exact the same build. Like, at least almost. Because it will go higher than Lazuli Glintstone Sword for sure. There. On the Moog. I fear nobody. Come at me. Thought Shot was better than Rusted Anchor. If I needed to choose whether I'd use one Rusted Anchor over one Sword Sword, I would always choose one Rusted Anchor. But if I could do any Rusted Anchor build versus the build we did today, I don't know, I feel like I would choose Sword Shot build we did today. How did you... Speaking of lore, what about the sword sword lore? Why does nobody talk about the sword sword lore? A short straight sword with a short blade. <laughs> In addition to this reliable standard damage, mm -hmm. this weapon also boasts powerful piercing attacks. This weapon is easy to wield, requiring only humble attributes. Yes, yes, S tier lore. Okay, let's go then. Fuck! Okay. Almost. It's actually quite close. See? The sword sword is actually good. And I'm dead. Dead. Ah. Oh. I'm gonna... Ah. Oh. There we go. Knew that it was possible. Alrighty. And that's about it for today's run. You know the drill. If you enjoyed the video and want to support the channel, then please hit the like button and some comment down below. It really does help you YouTube algorithm to share the videos with others as well. And if you don't want to miss future content like this, then I recommend hitting the subscribe button and follow button on Twitch as well. But thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video with the next weapon. Until then, it is good. Bye.